Paimon knew it would be big, but not that big. Puny god, puny human, leave my domain. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. Apep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boor. You are no different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heaven's glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead, as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you let go of your hatred, even for only a moment? Let go. For only a moment. Foolish Boor. You will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. No! You're ill, that's all! That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind remains clear. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth, and you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming! Ah, what is that? Paimon's never seen that before! It's our family. Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi! External form not important. Inner nature say. The composition of their elemental power is identical to ours. In other words, they're residents of our homeland. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation, although a most gruesome and pitiful one. Many of our family members never made it out of the Dendro Dragon. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! They've given it their all just to survive. They're being drawn by the Fire Seed. Only its power can temporarily free them from their pain. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do so. Everything else has been discarded in the process of adaptation. So this is the result of forbidden knowledge? Would our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that? Like fish struggling on land. Unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. Yes, but please try to be gentle with them. They are not evil in nature. All they want to do is survive. <laughs> 